King James Version, if you all would please uh, read it with me. Here we go. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. that neighbor. settled that. Certainly in the 21st century, we are familiar uh, with settlements. Amen. Situations that cause for uh, something to happen so that something can stop happening. Amen. At the University of Memphis, one of my, my minor is communication, and we had to take a class called Communication and Conflict. Uh, communication and Conflict lets us know that some situations cause for a mediator to be present. For some reason, some families can't seem to settle things when their loved ones die. They begin to fight over the assets that the relatives have left. And there is a cause for a professional mediator to be present. When I did my research about settlements, there were some things that, uh, there were two ways that they let me know uh, that things could be settled when money was involved. You could set up a payment plan. And what they call those is periodic payments. I don't have it all today, but I'll put some on it. Just be honest with you. My bank account is not to the standard where I can handle it all today. But if you just give me a little time, I'll pay on it as we go. My mentor says, as it comes in, I'll dish it out. There's a periodic payment. The periodic payment is a new thing that was an option if you couldn't pay it all in a what? In a lump sum. In a lump sum. Aren't you all glad that the situation we found ourselves in was not one that required us to pay periodic payments? It was a situation that the Lord understood that we need to handle it all at the same time, there was a lump sum payment to handle this that needed to be settled. We lump transgression and iniquity all under the same category of sin. But there is a difference between transgression and iniquity. Transgression is flat foot rebellion. Flat foot. I know I ain't supposed to do it. But I'm going to do it anyhow. Lord, I'm going to do it this time. But I want you to forgive me in advance. Somebody look at your name and say, flat foot rebellion. What does then flat foot rebellion or transgression do to the body of Christ? It causes there to be a wound. It affects the continuity of the body of Christ. When we as believers flat foot rebel, then the body of Christ cannot continue like it needs to. There's a piercing in the body of Christ. It affects the structure of the body. Then it says, he was bruised for our iniquity. What is iniquity? Iniquity is our perverse thoughts or our perverse actions. When someone is perverted, they're under the impression that that which is wrong is right. This form of godliness, but the end thereof is destruction. A bruise is just something that people see on the outside. So when our minds tell us that something is right, when it's actually wrong, when people look at the body of Christ then, it affects the standard. The standard. The wound affects the structure. The bruise affects the standard. This is why the saints can come to church and the Lord done told everybody 15 different things in the meeting. The Lord done told all five of these folks that they supposed to be over this committee. 
The Lord done told all five of these folks that they supposed to do the prayer today. Because we don't conceptualize as believers that perhaps, maybe, just the possibility that I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And when I'm wrong, it bruises the body of Christ. So what did he do, St. Paul? He sent his son, Jesus. Sent his son, Jesus. His son being him. <laughs> him being his son. There's no other lawyer good enough to handle this. There's no other mediator good enough to handle this. Johnny Cochran. Can't do it. Because in this case, it fit. It fit. It fit. If they got me a glove called sin or got all of us a gloves called sin, it would fit. Look at your neighbor and say, one size fits all. <laughs>